They're really in shaded areas that are damp. They need the humidity to survive. If you prepare your yard correctly, if you have these grassy areas that are open to sun, they really cannot cross that area, especially in the daylight. They will desiccate, they will die. A lot of it is about yard preparation. So when you're talking to residents and you go out and they say, I could, don't know how I possibly could have gotten this disease, and you're like, well, there's, a, there's logs over here, there's your firewood right next to your house where the mice live, and then there's a rock wall right there where the mice live and the ticks live, and then you've got a fence line that's nice and shaded and it's good and humid and your kids play right along there. Well, that's right in your own yard. You don't have to go any further than that. So there are tools and mechanisms that people can use to create some barriers. And that's not always possible given your habitat or your home style. So we're aware of that, but there are ways to lessen the risks around your personal homes. And then when you go out into the environment, there are ways to lessen your risks. One of the challenges that we have at the State Health Department is, you know, we want everyone to be healthier. And one of the ways to be healthier is to go outside and exercise. Um, we don't want people getting afraid and staying in their house because they're worried about ticks. Because don't think that when you're in your house, you're tick free. If you have a dog, if you have two like I do, corgis low to the ground, um, they're basically like tick magnets. They just drag along the ground and the ticks attach to them. And then they're in your house. So if you have risk factors like ticks, even if you treat them appropriately, they can still bring them in your house. Nymphs are most active uh, right now, early April through June, and then the adults are active later in the season. But you'll see the adults er early in the year. They're going to take blood meals. They're going to lay their next batch of eggs. Um, so, you know, there's a, and there's going to be a lot this year. The, um, the conditions were perfect for them over the winter. It wasn't too cold. There was, uh, there was enough snow on the ground. The humidity was very good. So they're going to do, have heavy survival. We went into the fall with pretty heavy amounts of ticks. So I, I think this year's gonna be tough.